All right, people are voting scary ghost video. Oh, we'll save SCP for another day, and we might watch uh, like a short film after this. Unless this video sucks, then we might skip it. I'm not watching any more fake-ass ones. I'm going to watch ones that are actually scary. The Witching Board. Pop Witching Board. Regular paranormal live streamer Ricky Velasquez and his wife Liz travel to an allegedly haunted house somewhere out in the middle of nowhere in Mexico. Now apparently the story of this place is truly dark and disturbing because Ricky will only mention that the house was once home to an extremely large family named Hernandez. Apparently some tragic and unspeakable event occurred at the Hernandez home. An extremely large family with the last name Hernandez. Dude, the last name Hernandez is one of the most common fucking last names. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? The only info he can give me is this is a haunted house from a large family with a last name Hernandez. Let me do a quick Google search of the U.S. And I don't know it. Wait, hold up. United States name, names, search. No, not name search. Name amount of people i don't remember the website fuck what is that website that you put in a name and it tells me oh how many people of me how many people with my name website how many of me oh here it is bro what's the website name how many, is it how many of me? What's the name of the website? How many Hernandezes are in the world? Hernandez is the 21st most popular family name in the U.S. With 651,000 people with that last name. Hot dog, and that's just in the U.S. Hot dog for the sub grubby for the 1,500 biddies. It was my birthday yesterday. My dad got me a car. Dub. Congrats. Happy birthday. Number one. Or happy late birthday. Uh, and what car did he get? Sure row for the sub. Home. And most of the family, including many women and children, lost their lives. Now, whatever did happen, apparently it was so horrific that many people still leave candles at the house. How about Bartolozzi? There's like a thousand Bartolozzi's. Maybe more, actually. To pay their respects to this day. So after exploring the downstairs, Ricky and Liz head up to the second floor. And that's when they begin to experience something that makes their blood run cold. Ricky is broadcasting their exploration live on YouTube. And as he reads comments from his live stream audience, this happens. Hola. What do I say to it? Hello. No, Bro, how many people you think are watching this shit live? This man just standing in an abandoned house. The couple hears very strange sounds from somewhere on the top floor. Banging, moaning, and even what sounds like the voice of a young child. No, man, I'm so they got their kid to just sit in the sit in the fucking ceiling and just say weird shit. Now, in an attempt to make contact with the dead, Ricky and Liz decide to use a Ouija board. A Ouija board! One of the most fake fucking things that people use to fabricate some sort of conversation with a fucking ghost. You could literally... Dude, I'm not saying that a Ouija board ain't never work ever. I'm saying most motherfucker. I've used Ouija boards. Dude, you literally have one motherfucker that just moves it. And you can barely touch it and it'll slide. And as you might have guessed, it did not go well. 
During the Ouija board session, the couple continues to hear disturbing sounds coming from the house. Then something happens. The real reason Ouija boards seem fake as fuck is because the ghost is supposed to move the shit to the fucking letter. So why do you need your dumbass little fingers on the fucking Ouija board? Because then everybody thinks that you're fucking moving it. Because you have to contact the spirit. You have to have your hands on the Ouija board and the ghost is going to move me to move it. Or the ghost is going to convince, is, is going to move it slightly. My, I have to have some spiritual contact with the Ouija board. Just ask the damn question and it could fucking move it, right? If a ghost is there, it could fucking move the Ouija thing itself. That absolutely scares the shit out of them. ¿Estás aquí con nosotros? Why is there clothes? <laughs> Bitch, like, how did he know? How did he know to look at that was weird. While using the Ouija board, Liz asks, Are you here with us? To which a terrifying little voice replies, Yes. Ricky believes that he hears the voice coming from right behind him. So he looks through a clothing rack that is nearby and sees the horrifying, deathly pale face of a woman. That ain't look like no damn kid. That looks like a 40-year-old middle-aged woman. A woman. ...clothing rack that is nearby and sees the horrifying, deathly... Nuke Top 5 sucks? Oh, I'm getting... I'm, I'm realizing that. Dude, this video is 1.4 million views in seven days. ...deathly pale face of a woman. I got a post on TikTok chat, one or two. Quick TikTok post break. Quick quick little quick little post break. Posting. Y'all said two. All right, lock back in, Matthew for the three hundred fifty. Can you unban my account? You said, "Can you unban my account?" My N. Were you about to say the N word, Sammy for the three hundred forty bits? One out of every six hundred six thousand one hundred twenty one baby boys born in the twenty twenty one are named Joe. Yeah, Joe's a common last name or a common first name. Oh, that's my username. I didn't do anything. Okay, let's see what they did. Oh shit, my stream's lagging. Stream's lagging. Ah, eh, 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 you hear me chat. Ah, ah, so, uh, uh, am I still la lagging? Am I? Oh shit, dude, I'm in 1080p. La a a a e g a. Uh, but no, you got banned because you were saying my shit was boring, bro. Uh, which is just fucking annoying, right? Like you're coming into my chat and then just complaining, right? That's why you got banned. Uh, and then you said my N. What do you mean by that? Also, you have three damn chats in my... You have three chats in my entire stream. Uh, ever. Like, why are you, Why did you make a whole new account to try and get unbanned? The 
couple has had enough and they just run out of there as fast as they can. You ain't boring? Dude, I know. I'm not saying, like, oh, I, there's, they were saying boring to the video. It's annoying sometimes when I do a react day and that's when I lost my shit on chat one day. Uh, was when, like, motherfuckers were just spamming boring to a video. Uh, which is really annoying. Can. Now, keep in mind that all of this was broadcast live on YouTube. So whether it's real or not, it would have been much harder to fake. But whether it is real or not really seeing that they're in a really dark fucking room. Uh, and the only thing they actually showed was a really blurry ass image of that. Like, what is that? Entire exploration over on the YouTube channel. Ricky. Oh shit. He has a lot of subs. Last guess. Get me out of here. A group of friends are having a great time in Torreon, Mexico, when they decide to go on a very popular tourist attraction, the Cristo de la Noas cable car ride. The cable car provides beautiful scenery of the city as it transports tourists up the mountain and through the streets of Torreon. With such a spectacular bird's eye view of the city, the group of friends can't help but take a video to capture the moment. But what happens on How this- How the hell is this gonna be paranormal? Particular ride is very disturbing. Yo, somebody could have played that out of their damn iPhone. This video sucks, Dick. Can we skip this? Please. No. <laughs> Bro, they're fucking pointing the camera the other way. They hear some shit. Some motherfuckers just playing that out of their fucking iPhone out of a recorded fucking thing. Lord of an alleged seven days. A static camera. He says that within seven days, it's impossible I'll to I'll get skip. I'll give one more story a shot. Haunted apartment. A landlord claimed popular Japanese paranormal investigators Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film are contacted by a desperate landlord of an allegedly haunted apartment. The landlord claims that just over 10 years ago, a family of three rented the apartment. One night, the father had an unexplained psychotic break and took the lot. Why are so many fake? Because most, well, I mean, you could say that every ghost, I mean, it's whether or not you believe in ghosts. Some people think every ghost video is fake. Uh, or why are so many fake? Because it's kind of hard to catch something that would seem like a real ghost. Um, and it's very easy to fabricate. Because what would be deemed as real ghost videos are easily fakeable, right? Knocking, footsteps, weird apparitions. Like, you're not, you're not sitting there like, a, oh, a ghost encounter is like flat out a fucking person. 99% of the time. There's people that have said there's ghost encounters that are like that, but the majority aren't. Lemon for the sub, little lactose for the sub. Please, Joe, I spent 30 bucks on you. You spending any amount of money on me does not correlate to you getting unbanned or banned in my chat. Uh, I appreciate that you're giving me bits, but you're only sending bits so you can get unbanned. Uh, please stop sending bits if your assumption is that if you give me money, I will unban you. Uh, that is not how this works, right? Uh, donations are entirely optional. You chose to send me the money. You do not need to send me the money. There's an 18.125% chance of getting unbanned. Uh, yeah, there's a higher chance if you're a sub, right? 18, it's actually 17.635 now, right? It's moved down slightly. It depends on the mood. Uh, but if you're a sub, there's a 17.5% increased chance that you're unbanned in my chat. I kind of make that up, that number up as I go, right? But it's your option to send me the money. Um, I, I, I always say every day donations are optional, right? You do not need to send me shit, right? Um, and I appreciate that you're sending me bits, but all of the bits that you've sent me on this account is you trying to get me unbanned. Or are you trying to get your main unbanned? Uh, when you said boring, right? Uh, I'll unban you on the condition that you stop being a fucking shitty ass chatter. Right? You have two chats in my stream ever on the account that you're begging to get unbanned, and they're not good. Your three chats ever are damn, which isn't that bad, 
Just watch the video. Boring. I'll be nice, and I'll unban your account, right? I don't even know what your profile is, though. You got the Queen of England as your fucking... Bro got the Queen of England as his fucking banner image. And then, what is that, an American flag with an axe over it? I'll unban you, but bro, stop sending money to get unbanned. Because that's not why you're getting unbanned. You could have just submitted an unban request. I don't know why you didn't do that to begin with. Ange for the sub, DZ for the sub. Uh, and if you get, if you do some whack shit again, you're going to get part of the ban. You know, W me for being nice today. But like, dude, stop. Stop sending bits too. Because you're talking about sending money and that means you should be unbanned. You don't need to send me money. I say that every time. Donations are entirely optional. I, I am as grateful for the people that send money as I am for the people that watch my streams, right? While I do very much appreciate donations and subs and all of that, you do not have to sub to my stream. You do not have to donate. Standard for the three hundred Can you please unban my account? <sighs> oh, this is a joke. Okay. Dude, I'm not doing any of these other dumbass fucking requests to be unbanned. Lives of his wife and child inside the apartment. Their bodies were found hidden in the closet. The father went on the run and he was never found. Since the horrific incident, the owner finds it impossible to get tenants to stay in the apartment for more than a week. He says that within seven days, all of them abruptly decide to just move out. So the landlord challenges the Omagatoki team to live in the apartment for one week to figure out just what it is about the property that causes tenants to refuse to stay. Investigator Tomo accepts the challenge and decides to live in the apartment alone for seven days. A static camera records Tomo as he sleeps. If you actually challenged me with living in a scary paranormal area, I'm a face the wall. I'm going to put on noise canceling like Apple or Bose headphones. I'm going to watch YouTube videos and I'm going to have all of the lights on. And I'm going to be hiding in a sleeping bag so nothing can touch me. Gibson spends time in the bedroom. Watch Sam and Colby. Their videos are not scary. Where the tragedy took place 10 years earlier. I don't dislike Sam and Colby. I just, I just don't want to watch their videos. Uh, and for the sub. I've seen one before. They're not bad, but like they're not scary horror videos. That's them. It's them going into like a semi haunted area, uh, and then they like they try to find a ghost. They do like the base ghost hunter shit, but it's like this is scarier. Is this apartment this big? Like this is a box. ま、Tomo spends the first two nights and nothing really happens. But on the third night, at around midnight, Tomo notices something very odd in the bathroom. Someone's shadow. What do they have? A fucking melon-sized head? Someone's shadow. That looks like a human head, dude. That looks like a fucking vase. That ain't no look. That look maybe fucking ET. Bro's got a fucking uh, literally a watermelon head. <laughs> Is it moving? 
Dude, but every time he moves over, somebody just moves out of the way. A strange shadow can be seen in the window, but Tomo can't find anything outside that could be casting the unexplained shadow. Then the next night, night number four, and things get a bit weirder. Couldn't they theoretically just fucking film all of this in one night? Like seven days in one night? Like I know they I, I know if they're really into this and they actually like want to see if there's a ghost, they would actually stick it out. But you could really just fucking film every clip in four hours. The and shadow just say you're on day seven. From the night before has now disappeared as mysteriously as it came. But when Tomo goes to bed, he's disturbed several times while trying to sleep as he keeps getting the eerie feeling that someone is in the room with him, standing near the closet. Cut to nights five and six, and now Tomo starts to complain that he hasn't been able to sleep as he keeps hearing unexplained footsteps, and even more terrifying, the unexplained mumbling voice of a woman. Now it's day seven. Tomo is ex Why ain't that shit on camera? You're filming the whole fucking thing. Where's the person talking to you? Exhausted and considers quitting the seven day challenge and just going home, even though there's only one day left. Eventually, he decides that he can tough it out and stays for the seventh and final night. The investigator wakes up the next day refreshed and happy. He says he finally got a great night's sleep in the apartment. Let's get some of this. Why didn't they bring like a fucking couch? Bro's just sleeping in a sleeping bag. Did he have any nightmares? No, none at all. Blah, 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 blah. Something did happen that night. Something that Tomo has no recollection of. Something truly chilling. Remember this. Dude, that looks like an edited glitch. Like a fucking static filter. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Bro, that's so fake. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is weird though. To get her captured the, the spirit of the game club channel. This time I was- That's so dumb. We're skipping that. We're skipping that. We're literally skipping that. We'll watch another short horror film. Fucking shit, dude. That was so stupid. The first one we watched where it was like the dollhouse and the weird knocking. Like those seemed way more real. Like way more real. All right. We'll watch this.